Welcome to this video about part of CP600 control panel basic training course. In this video, we will show you how to create your first project with Panel Builder 600 software and use the basic widgets. After completing this video, you will be able to create a project and select your panel. Select the protocol use and create tags. Use the basic widget gallery and attach a tag to the value of a widget. And finally simulate your project. First of all, open your PB610 software. In this module we will learn to create a first project. On a new project, you can change the name and location where it will be stored. By pressing next, you will be able to select the panel used for your project. According to your selection, the size of your pages will be automatically adjusted to the panel size. Press Finish to validate your choice. We are now ready to use the software. The white page displayed corresponds to your working area. On the left side, you can discover the project view. If you double click on your project, you will be able to access the global properties displayed on the right side. Behavior is the place where you can select your starting page. You can also modify the panel type used. We will now select a protocol. This is the first step before creating anything else. Double click on it to open the window parameters. You have the choice between all the AC500 and AC500 Eco drivers. From Modbus TCP, RTU, to Codesys drivers. For this example, we will select variables to be able to work with internal tags. The second step is the definition of tags. You have a significant choice of data type. For each tag, the tag editor allows you to specify several properties like driver, address, comment, read write option and so on. To add a new tag, click on the plus icon and select the address. We will now enter the widget gallery. Open it by selecting the widget gallery tab. You can click on the label widget and drop it into the working area. The different properties regarding this object are now accessible. Press the following icon to make appear all the different properties. And on the plus one to expand them all. We will now select a numeric field. In Properties menu, when pressing the value, a plus button will show up. By pressing it, we will be able to attach the value to a tag. Don't forget to check the status of your tag. It can avoid you errors. We will now do the same operation on a vertical slide widget and attach its value to the same tag. Tag 1 in our example. Select the slide widget corresponding to your design and drag and drop it on your page. Next, attach the value of slide widget to tag 1. And, thanks to the simulation tool we can visualize the results of your creation, select the simulation icon, or menu run, and start simulation.
Thank you for attending this video. If you want to learn more about CP600 HMI, please use the following link. Or if you have an additional technical questions, you can contact our helpline support. For general comments and questions about this video, don't hesitate to contact us.